attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, and thank you for attending the NOIP Managed Access webinar, Getting to Know Managed Access, How It Simplifies Remote Access for You and Your Customers. My name is Haley Vance, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator here at NOIP. During the presentation, our product specialist, Brent Peterson, is going to walk you through a live demo, explain what Managed Access is, and answer any questions you may have about the Managed Access product. It shouldn't last more than 45 minutes, and it will be recorded so that you can watch it again if you want or share it with your colleagues and friends after the presentation. We'll send you the link to that video via email once it's uploaded. Once again, thank you guys so much for attending this webinar. I'm going to give the floor now to Britt so he can start the presentation. Thank you, Haley, and good morning, everybody. My name is Brent Peterson. I am the product specialist for NoIP. I've been with the company for almost three years. During that time, I've worked in both tech support and sales team. Um, here, we're just going to go over our Manus Access platform, which is our newest service, and it gives you the ability to offer dynamic DNS to your customers on your own personal domain. It allows you to create host names attached to this domain with easy account management and optional installation support from our expert support technicians. When you install a DVR or an IP camera, for example, a customer at a customer's home or business, you can now set up their dynamic DNS to point to your domain, giving your business an extra layer of branding and a service that you can resell to your clients for a monthly fee. So uh, a little bit more example on that is um, what I like to tell people is you can tell your customers in order to access your, your DVR client, for example, um, you simply need, uh, you either need a dynamic DNS host or you need a static IP address. Static IP addresses run from 15, 10 to $15 a month, depending on your ISP. I have my own dynamic DNS service. I charge $5. Depending on the tier, you're going to make at least 400% on each customer that you sign up. So managing the DNS is easy and can be done with just a few mouse clicks. That We have three different panels. The admin panel gives you the ability to create host names, push IP, IP updates, reset passwords, and delete accounts from a remote location. The managed access you also get installer panel, which allows your installers to create host names on site without, giving, without gaining access to important customer information. We also offer a client panel for larger companies that allow customers to create their own dynamic DNS services. Uh, I'll walk through those all three panels in just a moment. Um, as I go through them, feel free to submit any questions you have typing them in the question tab on the webinar tool bar. So let's go ahead and begin. So here we're using the domain manageaccess.biz. So the way that branding comes in, first of all, the branding comes in quick and easy. So if I were to enter in manageaccess.biz, I'm sorry, I spelled that wrong. It's going to bring me straight to my domain. This is going to give you the branding features. So if somebody sees, you know, test dot or customer dot manage access dot biz, if they enter in manage access dot biz, it's going to take me to my website and that's going to give me that branding feature. So we'll go ahead and go back to the login admin feature. The login admin is login.manageaccess.biz. This is going to bring us to our managed access portal. This portal is going to give you your logo here and your logo here, which gives you the branding. For the admin and installer credentials, they're both going to have separate credentials. Admin is going to be a different one. For this one, it's going to be map access with our password. Once we're logged in, we get prompted to create a device automatically. This is so if you can, if you want to create a device, it's uh, right there, boom, you're ready to go. 
I can go ahead and create a device here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in test. I'm going to put in a password. And this would be for your customer. So it would be like customer.yourdomain.com. Also, it provides you with an email address. This email address is going to send you the username, the password, and the host name that you just created. Now, you can either send this to yourself, or you can send it to your customers, or you can send it to both. And that way, you and your customers have these credentials on file. So for this test, I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address. Once I click Add Device, prompted. Your device has been successfully updated. So as you can see, this is the device page. You can see all your hosts here, so you can manage your clients. This is the one I just created, test.manageaccess.biz. It gives you the username on file, the IP address it's currently going to, and it gives you some quick actions. So you can manually update the IP if need be, which you should never have to do. You can reset their dynamic DNS settings if you guys lose the credentials, or you can delete the user if you no longer use them. So as you can see here, we can go back. I did receive the email. This is the email that was sent. So a new device has been created. Here's the username, here's the password, here's the host name. Pretty easy. You'll just copy and paste those into the, either the DVR, IP, router or whatever dynamic DNS device or program you're using. So back to the administrative panel. So I can add another device here, or I can click the device tab in the upper right hand corner, which will show me all the customers that I have created. So that's pretty much it with the administration panel. We try and make it quick and easy for our users to just be able to log in, see what they need to see, create a host name on the fly, and then they're good to go. The next panel I'm going to walk through is actually one more thing is we have a Mac upload feature. Uh, this hasn't been applied for this demo, but Mac upload feature allows a CSV file to be uploaded for Mac addresses, which can be used for uh, either our installers or um, our client panel, which we'll go over here in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. And then I'm going to log back into an installer. So once I'm logged into the installer panel, this is all they see. As you can see, there's no device link in the upper right hand corner. Again, your logo is here. For this particular installer, we added the Mac feature, which this means is the installer can only create a host name if the Mac is valid. So you upload a CSV file with all the Mac addresses attached to your devices that you send out. Um, this is optional, so we can remove it if you don't want them to have to verify Mac addresses. So if Mac address there or not, you would enter it in, You'd enter in the customer's name. You would enter in the password for that customer. And again, the email credentials. Those email credentials, again, will give you the username, the password, and the host name that you just created. Once you click Add Device, the device is automatically added. And the installer will be prompted to create a new host or customer device name. And then that's, that's pretty much it with the installer panel. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. And again, you're back here with your logos. The last panel that we're going to run through real quick is the client panel. The client panel is used for larger um, corporations. We have some large corporations now that send out DVRs to manufacturers. So they just send out the DVRs to their clients. And they, they send it out with a flyer saying, Create your own dynamic DNS here. Simply go to this URL and enter in the following. So again, it'll have your logo here. You can enter in your welcome message here. For this client portal, we require a MAC upload and a MAC address. And we do this for verification uh, for you. So customers can't just create host names randomly on your account. 
So they would enter in the MAC address. Once the MAC address is entered, they can enter in the, the host name they want, again, attached to your domain. They enter in the password for their account, and then an email address, most likely their email address, which is, again, going to tell them the username, the password, and the host name. Once they hit Create Host, the host will be automatically created and will show in the administration panel, and the customer can start using that host name right away. So now that we've walked through all three panels, let's bring Haley back to run through, run a couple question and answer portions of the webinar. Thanks, Brent. Over the course of this webinar, we've gotten a few questions in, and I'm just going to ask them to Brent and have him answer them for you guys. Of course, if you get additional questions while I'm asking these, please feel free to put them in the question portion of the webinar tool on the right-hand side, and he'll answer those as well. So the first question we have is, how many host names do I get with Managed Access? So with Managed Access, we're on a tier platform, um, so I'll just... For, for quick sake, I'll give you the first tier is 10, 10, 10 host names, but we have an overage fee. So you pay 10, uh, you get 10 host names and any overage fee will charge you a smaller amount for that host name until you hit the next tier. So if you have more tiers, it's less per host. Correct, of course. The more you add, the cheaper it's gonna get. What happens when I go over my allotted number of host names? Uh, we don't limit you on host names. You'll just be charged for those host names on the following month according to the tier you're in and the overage price listed. Do I own the domain name or does no IP have the rights to it if we choose to stop using this service? So with Manage Access, we do register a domain for you and we do this because it's usually easier. We can use your root domain. However, when we register the domain, we do put it in your name, so you will own the domain. If you decide to cancel the service, you can either keep the domain with no IP and manage it through us, or we can transfer it out to another registrar. Um, we also do add private registration for free, which would hide your contact information. That is also optional. Great. Can I set up the dynamic DNS in my device before I send it out to my installation site? Uh, yes, you can. You can enter it in as long as the device saves those credentials when you um, un unplug it and plug it back in. There should be no issues on setting up the device um, at your office and then sending it out to your customer. If I don't have the Mac upload feature, can my clients do the dynamic DNS setup themselves? Um, no, uh, you can as long as you create the host name for your client ahead of time. With the client panel, we do require that Mac upload feature, though. What are the benefits of using this product as opposed to the device's free dynamic DNS or another DNS provider? So in regards to free dynamic DNS with manufacturers, most manufacturers only have one or two um, servers. and they're using the domain of the manufacturer, so you're not getting that branding feature. Uh, um, or another DNS, or say if you're going to go with a different DNS provider, why would we want to go with no IP as opposed to them? Right. So with uh, with a different DNS provider, um, most DNS providers nowadays don't offer the unique credentials. So what we did is we came up with a way for you to create host names on the fly with unique credentials for each client. This is key because a lot of devices um, will show dynamic DNS settings in plain text. So if you don't have unique credentials, you have to use your, um, say, no IP account or your Dyn DNS account credentials. If those are in plain text, they can easily copy and paste those into the logging section of Dyn or no IP and get full access to your no IP or Dyn account. Um, I've been in support again for, you know, like I said, a couple years. I've seen that happen. I've seen a customer have over 200 host names and somebody went in and removed all host names, which was a huge disaster and headache for him for a couple of weeks. 
What if you are an option in the device I use? Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? What if your no IP isn't an option for the device that I'm currently using? So if we're not an option, we can always reach out to the manufacturer that you're using to add our API. Our API is very simple. Um, you also have other uh, devices that you can check, as in routers, IP cameras, uh, home automation systems. All these can support dynamic DNS. All they need to do is support no IP as a service provider. We also have a free download on our webpage at noip.com forward slash download. This, uh, this can be downloaded on Windows, it can be downloaded on Mac, and it can also be downloaded on Linux. And that client will simply run on a computer, check your IP address. If it detects your IP is different, it'll send that update to no IP. Um, we got one final question in from Jeremy, and it says, does this work with SIP trunks? Mm, I'm not really familiar with that. I would have to, can you elaborate on that a little bit? You can um, also submit questions if you have additional questions to sales at noip.com, and we will definitely get them answered as soon as possible. Additionally, if you think Manage Access is a good fit for your company, you can email sales at noip.com or call us at 775-360-2259 to talk to the sales team. Thank you, Brent, for answering those questions. And, um, you know, we will definitely upload this to our YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it again or share it with your friends and colleagues, you can definitely do so. Like I said before, we'll send it to you via email or you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash noipdns. Thanks for joining us today, guys, and we're definitely going to have more of these in the future and hope to see you guys at the next one. Have a great rest of your day.